filling your life is too quiet and mundane? How about leveling things up with the addition of Death himself into your household? Hello guys, this is Only Abidong and today I'm going to show you on how to add the Grim Reaper to your household in The Sims 4. This video is divided into 3 segments. You could either click one of the segments you'd like to see or watch the entire video. Enjoy! To be able to add the Reaper to the family, you should first make him appear. To do that, you must, of course, kill someone. Have a sim that you've made for this experiment or any other sim that you consider not worthy of living and then kill them in any way you please. The Grim Reaper will then appear to complete his task. Let him take the sim's soul and as soon as he finishes that, press Ctrl plus Shift plus C on your keyboard to activate the cheat console and type in testing cheats true. Do note that from now on, all the cheats that I use requires this cheat to be activated. Then, shift plus left click on the reaper and choose add to family. The reaper will now join your household, but you can fully control him. You can make him to do some simple things such as going somewhere or talking to other sims. But if you make him do certain actions, such as sleeping on the bed, using the toilet, etc. He will stay still and won't do that action. To be able to fully control him, you must move out from your home. Click on a computer and choose Move Household under the Household section. Choose any lot you want and then move there. After moving, you can now fully control the Green Reaper as much as normal sim. Now you might be thinking, okay now I can play as the Grim Reaper, but how do I save him to the gallery so that I don't have to kill more sims? Saving Grim Reaper's household to the gallery is almost the same as saving normal household. To save a household, you must first go to create a sim, or cast for short. To edit the sim and create a sim, you have to activate testing kits on. Then shift plus left click on the sim and then choose modify and cast. You can now edit the names, clothing, aspirations, and walking styles of your sim in the household freely. But if you shift plus left click on the Are Grim Reaper, you? there will be no modify and cast option. So to edit the Reaper and cast, place another sim in the household and then shift plus left click on the corresponding sim instead. In the cast interface, click on the Reaper and now you can edit him. I'll explain about editing the Grim Reaper in cast later in the video. Now sometimes, if you move in a Grim Reaper to your household, they will have at least one random trait. If that's the case, you could save him to the gallery immediately. But in some cases, the Reaper doesn't even have any traits at all, excluding aspiration traits. This could cause the household to not be able to be saved into the gallery. Also, this version of cast won't let you edit traits, so it's impossible to add traits from there. So to be able to save him, we should use cheats. Type in traits.equip underscore trait and then the traits you want to use. I've put a link in the description that shows the list of usable traits. After that, go to cast again and you can save the households to the gallery. Now there's no need to sacrifice those poor sims anymore. In this segment, I will show you the gameplay and abilities of the dead himself. These are just some of the things I've noticed after playing as him, so there might be stuff I missed. First of all, he will not age. He will stay as a young adult for the rest of his life. Second, all of his needs, except fun and social, will not decay. Even the dead himself needs to have a little fun now and again. He is also immortal, 
I try to kill him in any ways, but he just won't die. Instead of walking, he will float while leaving a trail of black smoke of death. This also applies to jogging and using the stairs. He still keeps his deep, frightening voice while speaking. He will also not change clothing or get naked on occasions where they should, such as taking a shower, sleeping, etc. But when you click on him, he still has several outfits like normal sales, but he'll never change to those outfits unless you control him as so. It looks weird when he wears them though. Unfortunately, he cannot commit to romantic relationships, be married, nor try to be. When you ask him if he's single, he will respond by saying the forces of evil have no time for romance. There's also another response to saying my work-life balance includes nobody else, only in body that is. So sorry guys, no reaper babies in this game. The Grim Reaper will always have grilled cheese aspiration which is a secret aspiration that can be unlocked by eating 3 plates of grilled cheese in a row. If you complete this aspiration, the person can summon a plate of grilled cheese anytime they want, which is nice. There's a funny thing whenever Grim Reaper drinks any beverage. Since his body is made out of bones, the liquid will go through his body and turn into this black fluid thing that forms a black bottle, which is quite messy. For some reason, when you play as the Grim Reaper, the game won't let him interact with the swimming pool. I tried clicking everywhere in the pool, but no options appeared. The Grim Reaper can find careers and professions as much as normal sims. They can even manage retail shops and restaurants. Like before, he won't change his clothing when going to work. If you have met with the Grim Reaper, you cannot hang out with them when going somewhere. Grim's sim icon won't appear on the sim selection menu, so you have to travel as the Grim Reaper and invite other people. If you move a custom Grim Reaper somewhere in the world and meet him outside of his home, he will get out from the lot the same way as when he exits after reaching the sim soul, which looks badass. That Grim Reaper is also the one that will be the soul reaper when someone dies in that world. As mentioned before, you can edit the reaper in cast, but things will go freaky. He won't have any face at all. In the cast, you can change his hairstyle and clothing freely. After being edited, he will still retain his abilities such as floating, deep voice, etc. I've made some horrifying yet cool things with this, such as the invisible man, the headless gentleman, the hollow mask, a real giant floating hot dog with a pair of flying white gloves, and a faceless clown. As I said before, these are just some other things I've tried myself. There might be other stuff that I missed, so let me know in the comments what you find. For those who don't have time to do these things, I've uploaded a household to the gallery that consists of a Grim Reaper made by under the name Abidoa. You could edit this reaper freely to create a sim while editing the household. You could edit his body shape, relationship, or even remake them into a woman or a child. Thank you so much guys for watching my second sims 4 how to with my own voice. I hope that you click the like button below and be sure to subscribe and check out my channel for more sims related videos. Also, you could add some suggestions in the comments below for my next how-to. See you later!